Hello, hello. Good afternoon to you all. Just to give you a brief uh, introduction of myself, uh, I'm the managing director of Mora Pharmaceuticals Tanzania. We have been one of the company representing various manufacturers from India, Kenya, China, and the GCC. <coughs> what I'm up to here is to share my little 10 years experience from imports from various countries, and especially India. <coughs> Having working with around 19 manufacturers from India, and good enough to see that some of them are seated on the dais up here. So I'll just brief you some of the challenges which we face when it comes to imports from India. The major challenge which is on top of my list is the documentation part. We all agree that uh, there are various companies in India from the topmost, the small and the medium. <coughs> Representing some of the well-known companies in India, not to mention the names, but uh, there are some in my list who are medium and small. So the issue really which is faced is with the medium and small size companies. The issue of documentation is that Today, Africa is becoming regulated. Apart from Tanzania, there are another 52 countries in Africa, and day by day, it's getting regulated. But the pace which manufacturers are moving with when it comes to Africa, they just feel that it's not as stringent as Europe or America or the Middle East. So, uh, my emphasis is much on that, uh, especially the medium-sized companies and the growing companies, that please look at the documentation part, especially when it comes to like B studies, doing it in a proper manner, complying with the regulations required. Second, the other issue is regarding the dependence on API from other countries. Today, India is known to be among the top generic manufacturers of pharmaceutical products. Yet, I feel that still we have much dependence on other countries for the API. Hence, I would recommend that it's a good platform where all the regulatory people have come up should focus that the future of India should be more also on API manufacturers. Fourth uh, issue is regarding, this is what experience which I've got through my manufacturers, is a management issue which is employee turnovers. Today I believe here in front there are students from various institutes going to be future pharmacists, working in different regulatory companies or manufacturing. I would tell them that pharma industry is a very good industry and has a better opportunity. But just the mindset should be fine. It should not happen that you join a company, within one year you expect to move out because of some small, small issues. Because that company ought to give you an opportunity to grow within a short period. Finally, just to ramp up, is the issue of uh, pricing. It, although most of the generic medicines do come from India, but we have some giant competitors like China. Today I've been importing some products from India, but when it comes to pricing policies, compared to China, India has the beating. Hence, having all these challenges, I will just sum up some of the proposed solutions. One is to revise import duties. 
if any, that exist on the raw material sector. Second, improve the infrastructure. That will help in the pricing of the product. Also, manufacturers to invest in the regulatory department because that is, according to me, the heart of the unit. A lot of investments go on having a good plant, but the plant needs to be run. And running the plant, you need expert people. And the department which is the most important is the regulatory. The other thing which I can propose is, as said earlier also, increasing API manufacturers in the country. And finally, to those young generation coming up, the issue of employee turnover should be reduced. You people should focus that to grow with the company. Thank you.